Welcome, welcome, welcome to story time with me, Miss Sheila. I hope you're having a wonderful and beautiful day. Today, we're going to read the, this book called Let's Learn About the Lord's Prayer. Yes, let's do that, okay? Hi, I'm Emma. I am four years old. How old are you? So she's saying she's four. I'm so glad you have a play date today. Come with me. This is my room. I love to play with my toys. And I read my books here. And this is my bed where I sleep. One of my favorite things is here in my room. Can you guess what it is? Let's see. Can you guess what is her favorite thing? Let's see if you're right. If you guessed blueberry, then you're right. Blueberry is my best bear friend, right there. I like to talk to him and he makes me laugh. He reminds me of another best friend I have. Can you guess who it is? Who is it? Do you have a best friend? Who is your best friend? Okay, let's go on. It says, Emma, it's lunchtime. Oh, let's go. What's your favorite food? She's asking, what's your favorite food? What is your favorite food? Oh. So that sounds so yummy and so good. Look, we have juice, sandwiches, and grapes. I just love the sound that grapes make in my mouth when they go pop, 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 and burst with the juice, eh? Oh, before we eat, let's pray. Guess what? I'm learning a prayer that Jesus said, and it's called the Lord's Prayer. Some friends of Jesus wrote down this prayer in the Bible. And do you know what? This prayer has been told to other people ever since, from grandmas and grandpas, to moms and dads, to kids everywhere, so that everyone can know about it, and it's very important. You start the Lord's Prayer by praising God. You say it with me. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Because he is the king of everything. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And look it, there is the earth. Then we ask God to give us what we need, including food. So it goes, give us our day... Give us, give us this day our daily bread. And we need God's forgiveness when we do wrong things, just like we need to forgive other people when, who do wrong things to us. Very true. So then it goes, and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. So see, I guess this little boy took her toy and now he's asking for forgiveness by giving it back to her. So hopefully she will not have an angry face, but like accept his apology. And at the end of the prayer, we ask God to help us make good choices and stay away from bad choices that can hurt us or others. Very true. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. God help us make good choices because he is full of power he is more powerful than any superhero and he has no beginning and no end wow for your yours is the kingdom the power and the glory forever and ever amen yes so hopefully she got permission to take some cookies from that cookie jar i asked mommy why why we say this prayer and she said it's because this whole world belongs to God that's true because he created it everything we do for God's glory which is like a big celebration that shows him how amazing we think he is and he is amazing the Lord's Prayer is a way to say thank you to God for everything he is and everything he does. And look at in her house at the front of the steps, she used to chalk and write Emma and play tic tac, um, not tic tac, hopscotch. Oh, I almost forgot. 
to tell you who my other best friend is. Did you guess? It's Jesus! And she's holding her Bible. Even though he's the king of the whole world, he knows just who I am and he loves me. You know what? He knows just who you are and he loves you too. Yes, he does. Let's go back to my room now and play with Blueberry. He misses us. Don't you think so? Let's help him learn the Lord's Prayer too. What a good idea. Let's do the Lord's Prayer all together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven those who, who are, who, sorry, as we have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I'm going to just do that one more time since I messed up a little bit, okay? It goes, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive, and forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I so hope you enjoyed that story today. Until next time with me, Miss Sheila, go have yourself a wonderful and beautiful day. And go bless others and um, be blessed yourself. Ciao for now.